Pima Rough Riders finished an unbeaten regular season with a pink out Friday night and destroyed the St. David Tigers 75-34. to After St. David quarterback Travis Davis fumbled away its first possession on fourth down, Pima opened up the scoring on its very first offensive play of the night as Logan Sherwood went untouched 54 yards to pay dirt. After recovering the ensuing onside kick, Pima quarterback Parker Blair dropped back to pass but thought better and swung out down the left sideline 45 yards for a touchdown on the Rough Riders' third offensive play of the night. Later in the first, Blair then hit a wide open Johnny Boren for a 68 yard touchdown and their first hookup of the night. It wouldn't be the last. Desperately needing a score down 23 to nothing, Davis took the snap around the right side of Pima's defense and scampered 38 yards to put the Tigers up on the board. Pima's workhorse Hancock had an answer, however, and took a pitch from Blair to close out the scoring in the first quarter. There was more of the same in the second quarter as Blair hit Boren yet again on a flare pattern that he rumbled and bumbled down the field for 54 yards. That play then set up Hancock for another jaunt down the sideline and into the end zone. St. David's Johnny Schmidt showed he has some moves as well as he took a tight end screen pass from Davis and zigged and zagged his way through Pima defenders all the way down the field for a touchdown. Pima marched right back down the field, however, and capped the drive with a three-yard touchdown pass to Boren from Blair. Once again, the Tigers went to their quarterback to answer, and he delivered with a 25-yard touchdown sneak right up the middle. Pima was driving as the half came to a close and just ran out of time as Hancock made a beautiful play on the ball in between two defenders. Pima burst out in the second half and quickly returned to its scoring ways as Hancock took a handoff up the gut twisting and turning and running by defenders all the way to a 54-yard touchdown. After the ensuing onside kickoff attempt failed, Davis took advantage of good field position and scampered in from 25 yards out. It would be the Tigers' last score until late in the fourth quarter. Pima wasn't done, though, and Blair found Boren for a nice toss and catch that resulted in his third receiving touchdown on the night. I think we played really good and our quarterback was doing really well on his passes and our running backs were running really well and our blockers were blocking. It was just a perfect game for us right before the season ends. And I was open and so he hit me. I mean, anyone else is open, they're going to hit them, but I was just feeling it tonight and so he kept on hitting me. I think it's a big chance we're going to take state. Justin Karchner then made an outstanding play on defense as the Tigers attempted to convert a fourth down. After the turnover, Karchner had perhaps the catch of the night as he snagged Blair's pass off Austin Bryan's helmet and took it in for a 49-yard touchdown. Ali'i Tavesi then finished the scoring explosion for the Riders as he rumbled 80 yards down the field. Watch as he tossed the Lions' Logan Brubecker to the side and wouldn't be denied the end zone. Beam is a very, very, very good football team. We just didn't have any answers for them. They were too uh, much for us uh, offensively. And so I thought our boys played hard they, and they tried to hang in there and battle. So I was uh, proud of them for that. But I wish Pima the best of luck in the playoffs. We'll go into the playoffs and, uh, and hope to, to right the ship here a little bit and get these guys coached up to go and get a win this next week and whoever we play. We've, we've had a good season and it was a good victory tonight. St. David, they're tough. They came into here with just one loss. Um, they came ready to play. We came ready to play. It was, it was a big game for us to see where we're at this late in the year. So we'll find out who we play. This next week we'll play the winner of 8-9 and nine and uh, we'll go from there. But it's, it's serious now. It's playoff time. As long as we just don't let our guard down, we should be okay. It's, it's when we start thinking 
that we're better than we are is when we get ourselves in trouble. But as long as we know we have to come out and play, play a solid game, we, we do all right. So as long as we keep the, the intensity up, it will be okay. Do you think we're looking at a possible rematch with Baghdad? I think I think so, and I, I think the way it looks, it might not be in the in the in the championship, it might be in the, in the semis. So we'll see how it goes. This has been John Johnson reporting from Pima for the Eastern Arizona Courier.